Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to dive into a new moon reading. We have a new moon in Cancer. At the time of recording this, it is July 4th and the new moon is tomorrow. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull some moon energy and see what is the energy around you right now. And then we're going to pull some tarot to see what the message is for you with this new moon in Cancer. The energy, how can you work with the energy? What can you expect? What do you need to know? All right, so if you like this style of reading, I would love for you to join my community. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know who I'm reading for in the comments below. How does this resonate for you? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What do you need to know around this new moon in Cancer? What do you need to know? What do my friends need to know, please? These cards sometimes do not cooperate with me. A time for healing. There we go, there we go. Now we got movement. I have new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Time for healing, meditation, contemplation. Maybe you're going through something of a uh, Reevaluating your life and healing. Meditate and contemplate really feels like being very balanced between your head and your heart, but spending time meditating and really listening to your heart. Also, Pisces energy is feeling very much like your psychic abilities, your intuitive abilities are going to be heightened with this new moon and and possibly even throughout the next month. Really paying attention to that. Really paying attention to your dreams. You may be having prophetic dreams, you know, foretelling your future. Um, really paying attention to your intuitive guidance and your intuitive inspiration and intuitive messages that you get. I feel like you've been going through a time of healing and this card is purple and it feels very much like your crown chakra, you know, purple. <clears throat> I feel like you've gone through a, a time of healing and it's bringing you into a place of really just knowing yourself better, being better connected with your heart, your intuition, and you know, that Pisces energy, your intuition is on point right now. Let's get some more energy. New moon in Scorpio. More new moon energy. Go deeper, it says. New moon in Leo. Step into your power. Step into your power, my friends. Attune to the divine and breathe through the tension. All right. You may be feeling tension because you are going through a time of healing. I feel like you're on the end of that healing time, though. I feel like this things are changing in this new moon cycle. We've got more new moon in Pisces. So we've got two new moon in Pisces here. And this one says, attune to the divine. You know, really listen to and pay attention to your dreams. Your intuition is on point. You are receiving some sort of guidance, some sort of inform in information, some sort of inspiration, and some sort of message from the divine about your path forward. And I feel like it starts immediately, your immediate path forward here in this next moon cycle. So you may be a Pisces and this, just take this as a confirmation. If you're a Pisces, you've got, we've got a lot of Pisces energy here, but either way, you want to pay attention to your intuitive senses right now and know that you're it, it's increasing right now. Stepping into your power, that could be talking about your intuitive power, you know, but also taking your power back and stepping into your most authentic you and being confident, radiant, confident, shining your light in the most authentic way whatever that means for you. 
attend to the details and go deeper. So I feel like this time of healing, you're really removing deep stuff to make really, really lasting change in your days ahead. Because I feel like you are really going through a deep healing or have been. Maybe you're coming out of that now. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with why you are feeling, you may not be feeling it yet, but why your intuition is on point. Because you've gone through a lot of healing, which means you're probably more connected to yourself. Maybe you're more connected to your intuition. Maybe you are your intuitive or psychic abilities are increasing and you're stepping into some sort of a power with that where maybe you're starting some sort of a, an intuitive business or some or practice or maybe you are a healer all right so let's see what you can expect in this new moon cycle let me know what what of those messages that already came out what resonates for you and something fell on the floor so Ah, the Five of Cups. So I feel like that's the healing. That is the healing that you've been going through. So I feel like that's more past energy, but you take it how it resonates for you. I feel like you're coming into a place of healing because you've gone through a lot of healing and what you may not see coming is something that is aligned for you, something that is perfectly aligned for you. Because of this healing that you've gone through, you're stepping into your power and it's bringing in new opportunities that are literally aligned for you. Okay, let's see what wants to come through. Yeah, unexpected. Wow. You know what this card is also speaking to me is it hits at the crown chakra. You know, you get a sudden epiphany. The sudden light comes on. You pay attention to your intuitive abilities this month, okay? Over this next moon cycle, it's going to be on point. You are receiving something. You're receiving something from the universe and, you know, it's going to change everything for you. Literally, literally, it's taking you out of a place of maybe disappointment, maybe feeling some sort of, you know, failure or discouragement or disappointment, fear, all of that. And it's going to literally turn you around so that you see something really good that is about to happen for you. It's about to happen very suddenly, but I feel like it comes through your intuition. Like you may already know, you may already know what this is. because your intuition is on point. You have the breakthrough here. Coming through your crown chakra. You have some sort of truth being revealed. You have a breakthrough. You have a new path that's getting ready to start for you. We've got the queen of swords here too and she's very smart, this one. So you probably know what this is. You probably know what this change is that's coming into alignment with you. Look, we've also got the Knight of Swords. This is very fast moving, sudden energy. There is something suddenly coming in that's gonna shift your direction <laughs> completely. You're gonna turn around and <clears throat> go in a new direction. See, I feel like you've been waiting for this for a while. This is in the heart of your spread. I feel like what you don't see is that it's behind you. It's behind this person. I feel like whatever is going to come in is going to turn you, literally turn you all the way around. You may be looking for something to come in, a ship to come in, whatever it is. You may be looking in a certain direction and whatever news this is that comes in, it could be delivered to you straight through your intuition. It could be delivered to you through someone else bringing you some sort of a message but I feel like it's going to shift you all the way around and what you don't see on the other side of wherever you're looking or behind you is everything that you want. This is, you know, happiness. This is contentment. This is peace. This is a happy, harmonious relationship. This is fortune after difficulty. This is the Ten of Cups. It's everything that you want. And it's being gifted to you by the divine. It's really, literally like justice 
coming into play, being rewarded for your efforts, being rewarded for the tough stuff that you've been going through. It's also truth coming out. It's truth, you know, and I feel like for some of you, it's going to be truth coming straight through your intuition. You're going to know the truth about a certain situation, and then suddenly maybe your whole perspective changes, your your personality, like what you're feeling and thinking and what you're, the direction that you're headed, you're, it's, it's getting ready to change everything for you, whatever this truth is. This is also justice going in your favor. Literally, if you are, and so many of you have been telling me that you're waiting on a legal situation to go in your favor, these cards are telling you that this is going in your favor. And this could be the truth that wants to come out is suddenly the truth is revealed and suddenly it's gone in your favor and you have fortune after difficulty. It, it also seems to set your family up very well. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of peace. There's a lot of stability and contentment and feeling like finally things are going in the right direction way for me you know this is balance being restored this is you being rewarded this is truth coming out this is justice and balance going in your favor okay you may have been in a period of you know kind of waiting and wondering and isolation for a while waiting for this to happen but I've got two threes sitting here next to each other the three of Pentacles and the three of uh, wands, and if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that two threes, when they come out together in a reading like this, that means there's a surprise that's getting ready to happen. In this new moon cycle, you are about to be surprised by the universe. It's literally going to take you in a new direction. Be open to it because this direction is what you want. You may be looking at past, something in the past and like I said, whatever this truth is, whatever this breakthrough is, it's literally going to flip you around to see that your perfect alignment is right behind you. And it's this. It's exactly what you want. Although you may not see it <clears throat> because you may be looking somewhere else. So be ready in this new moon cycle for unexpected events unexpected good things coming in you've got a surprise here you've got the tower and the knight of swords both very unexpected news coming in that shifts everything you've got that page sorry not the page the ace of swords which is a breakthrough this is what you've been waiting for this is a breakthrough that you've been waiting for judgment says it's time it's time for this change. What do I have here? The Page of Cups. This could be an apology. This could be that truth coming in. This could be you receiving that intuitive guidance that sends you in another direction. <clears throat> I'm telling you, somebody's going in a totally different direction. <laughs> wow. This is an end of a tough cycle that you've been that you've been on, but see how you're literally walking away from it. It's in your rear view mirror. You're getting ready to walk away from it. This can be a new home for someone. This can be an apology. This can be also an increase in your intuition or psychic abilities. And it could be love, a love offer coming in, but it's definitely time. It's time for the, this change. It's time for your breakthrough. It's time for your justice. It's time for your surprise. So just know that it's a surprise. So you're not going to know the day or the time. It's going to come probably when you're least expecting it. <laughs> Here it comes. The universe is bringing you a surprise in this new moon cycle, but it's victorious. It's successful. It's a promotion. It's a promotion for you. This card says it's a promotion. So it can literally mean a promotion. It can mean you get the a legal situation going in your favor and you get, you know, a good amount of money from it. It can be a love offer coming in. <clears throat> I feel like 
if it's a love offer, I literally feel like it's from someone that you're not expecting. I feel like somebody has feelings for you that you don't realize they have feelings for you. But the universe planned this. And so it's the universe literally behind this change. And I feel like that's why you're you're looking over in one direction and someone else may just come over and sweep you right off your feet and you're like where did you come from i'm telling you mark my words okay is there anything else that you need to know the devil what's this about Okay, what else? Oh. <laughs> okay, yes, all right, thank you. All right, <laughs> here's your surprise. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here's your surprise. So why you don't see it coming is because you've been focused on something that was not for you. Okay? And you may still be focused on something that was not for you or something that has not been working. It has not been working because the universe has been maybe slowly pulling it out of your life and like pushing you in a new direction because there is something about it that's not good. It's something that you're being protected from. And so whatever is not working out in your life, now this can be a relationship, this can be even a job, this can be a, maybe a career or like a business that you've been trying to get off the ground. If it feels like you have been running upstream and it just was not working, it may be because there's something about it that is not right and there needs to be some sort of little tweak, but that's the tweak that's getting ready to come in. You're going to know what this is, so don't worry. It's you letting go and turning fully around. See, I feel like you're holding on to something here. And this is the energy that wanted to come out earlier, that I mean that did come out earlier where I said you're you're looking in a certain direction and you're gonna flip all the way around because behind you is the ten of cups so it's like you're this is you after you've flipped around this is a brand new opportunity you're going in a brand new direction you're leaving something behind here that you I feel like you've been holding on to and it just has not been working and it's because the universe is getting you out of it and preparing you for this surprise that is perfect for you from the ace to the ten and it's literally what they've been working on behind the scenes for you it's a perfectly aligned opportunity for you either in love or in something else that you are going to love so get ready because your surprise is coming in with this new moon cycle, okay? I would love to hear from you in the comments below and see how this resonated for you because, wow, this is quite a reading. Get ready for the unexpected, my friends. I'm talking literally unexpected. You don't see this coming and it's better than what you think. You may be focused on something that you think is right for you and there may be something that's gonna sweep you right off your feet and you're just like, oh my gosh, thank God I didn't commit to this other thing. I'm telling you, mark my words. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading.